Hi and welcome. Today we're taking a look at how to use GarageBand 10.0.3. It's the version that came when you upgraded to Yosemite. So uh, let's get started with that. Uh, we're going to be, in particular, we're going to be taking a look at how to create an audio podcast using GarageBand. So I'm going to get started by going to my launch pad and finding GarageBand and selecting it. Some people like to uh, get started by going to the spotlight and start typing in GarageBand and then selecting it from there. We're going to take a look now and we have a, a variety of different projects that we could be using. Unfortunately, what is different with this version and was also true of the Mavericks version as well is that uh, one of these projects is not called podcasts. And so now we have to use empty project to uh, get started with our podcast. So I'm going to select choose. And I am going to be using uh, the built-in microphone. So I'm going to just hit create, create here. And now I'm going to select which voice I would like to have that happen as. So uh, I'm going to use this as my actual, uh, my vocal audio. And I'm going to click voice and compressed vocal has a nice sound to it. So I'm going to select that. Before I start uh, doing my actual recording here though, I am going to uncheck this counting in and metronome button here because that just makes an annoying clicking sound when I uh, start doing my recording and I don't need anybody to count down for me. I can just start talking when I want. So now I'm going to hit the red record button and do my initial audio recording. Hi and welcome. Today we're taking a look at how to use the new GarageBand and that would be version 10.0.3 that came along with your upgrade to Yosemite. So sit back and relax and enjoy learning how to use this tool again. Alright, so we probably have the little bit of the click that uh, you could hear from my ending the recording. So I'm going to move my playhead, you'll notice just a little bit to the left here. And then I'm going to select on my keyboard, I'm going to hit Command T. And that will take this and make it its own little uh, bit of this uh, clip here, this track. And I'm going to hit the Delete key on my uh, keyboard to get rid of that. Now I don't have that little sound of the click there available. I'm going to take my audio track, I'm going to click and drag it out to about the five second mark so that I'm actually talking at about the five second mark, maybe a little bit before. And now I'm going to add a, a new track in there, a place for me to put my introductory music. So I'm going to go to track and select new track and I can keep the same kind of audio setup. And this is going to be called intro music. And I'm going to get that from the built-in loops that I have installed. And I am going to, let's see, I'm going to select, uh, let's try jingles. And let's see what I get for possibilities here. You can click on any one to hear it. Great. Okay, I kind of like that, uh, that kingdom chill layer. So I'm going to take that and drag that to the very beginning of my intro music track. Uh, the thing is, I don't want my voice and my vocal audio to compete with the sound of that um, jingle that I just added in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that uh, intro music kind of fade out as I start to talk. So to do that, I'm going to hit this button right here called Show and Hide Automation. And what I'm going to do is click in here and you'll notice that I have uh, a little volume button or uh, sorry, a volume line here. And I'm going to click a little bit ahead of where my vocal track starts. And I get that little white dot. 
Then I'm going to go into where I'm already talking, the end of my intro music track, and I'm going to just drag that down. And what will happen is I will get a little bit of a fade out of the background music as I am starting to talk. Here's the other thing, too, that Kingdom Chills Lair, or Chill Lair, it starts out kind of loud. So I'm going to bring that down here and kind of make that rise up a little bit rather than getting blasted right at the beginning with that sound. And now I'm going to hit my space bar and take a listen. Hi and welcome. Today we're taking a look at how to use the new GarageBand. That would be version 10.0. Okay, I like that. So now I'm going to add some exit music. So now I'm going to do track and new track and I'm gonna hit create and I'm gonna put a name here oops exit music and go to my loops and we've got jingles there and I'm gonna add the same piece of music in but this time I'm going to make it build up. So I am going to click right here and get that volume line. Click and get the white dot there. I'm going to click out here and get another white dot. And maybe go like that. And we'll put the playhead here and let's take a listen. So sit back and relax and enjoy learning how to use this tool again. Okay, so let's take a listen to the whole thing. I'm going to hit the button that goes all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to hit the little play button. And welcome. Today we're taking a look at how to use the new GarageBand. That would be version 10.0.3 that came along with your upgrade to Yosemite. So sit back and relax and enjoy learning how to use this tool again. All right. So now I am going to hit the share menu here and I'm going to export the song to disk because I'm just going to save this onto my desktop. So uh, where it says where, I'm going to select desktop. I'm going to give it a name, uh, podcast trial or 10.0.3. And I'm going to make sure that it is an MP3 file and keep it as high quality. And so that's going to all mix down and save onto my desktop. So when I go and take a look at my desktop, there is my podcast trial 10.0.3 right here. All right, so I've successfully created my uh, podcast audio. Um, the next video that I plan on making is what to do with it now. How are you going to get that uploaded uh, into SoundCloud and then into the podcast? I'm sorry, not into the podcast, but into uh, whatever blog it is you need to put this into. So join me for my next video.